All right, so Creative Solutions to Already Solve Problems is the name one of our teams gave to bad code examples we find. But it's not just in code that we find some of these interesting uh, solutions. Take security, for instance. In one particular client, if we um, ha have any personally identifiable information, we need to zip it up and password protect it before we email it to the, to the group that gets it, and then immediately follow it with another email that has the password in it because maybe the hackers can't read two emails in a row, right? Or some things are a little bit more subtle, like the annual information security training that starts with Adobe Flash content. Maybe if I didn't let it run at all, I wouldn't have to take this annually. Some things aren't as subtle. This particular email says it is an official email, so it is safe to click the links below. Completely foolproof security. Some things we just can't figure out why they do it. We have to standardize on browsers that load up two different home pages that both have to time out because their environments they're in aren't connected to the internet and can't get to those sites anyway. But we have to have them configured that way. But there is code, right? This particular supposedly long test class, which was only 1,300 lines, ends up by asserting that false is false or that true is true. And even when developers understand how asserts work, they make strange decisions. Like adding an assert to sa satisfy SonarCube and then adding another assert that forces a failure rather than just fixing the test. This way it will always fail even if they do fix it. Or this particular uh, getter that will return a handle to the object providing you have the object already so that you can call the getter. Sometimes it's not just wrong code, right? Sometimes we're just really, really verbose. Like rather than using variables, we call methods over and over and over throughout, making it really hard to read. Other times we're extremely verbose. This particular problem we found because tests started failing because we ran out of disk space, because they were hard coding debug statements and generating half a gig of logs on every build. Some of the code's not even wrong, it's just irritating. Like this lonely semicolon sitting on a line that really bugged a couple developers, even though it's really mild by, in terms of some of the problems we find in our code. Some of them are a little bit more irritating. Like this strange getter that is a void, takes no input, it's only side effects, yet it's a getter. And some things are irritating for other reasons. Like this code, like this code um, that naturally is found in the master branch of our code. But, you know, at least it's documented. At least someone took the time to add the comment to point out why it was there, right? Because documentation is important. Or maybe someone thought that Microsoft Word was a really good editor for Gradle files. I don't know which one this is. Actually, it's not true. I do know which one this was. Sometimes we take shortcuts and we're not always sure what the effect is, even if the code is really simple, like this statement that does absolutely nothing. Uh, sometimes we have our hearts in the right place, but we don't follow through with everything we need to do, like creating an exception, but then never actually throwing it. And therefore, of course, there's no problems because we're not seeing any exceptions. Or we have places where exceptions are always thrown. So naturally, we'd be a fool not to rely on that and put business logic in the catch block. So sometimes we get a little bit more explicit about our code, like making sure we do a null check before storing the value of a, uh, storing a value. And if it's null, we go ahead and we store null. or these well-named constants that tell us exactly what they're supposed to be there for, which we then go ahead and put comments around it just to make sure it's really, really clear. Because constants are important, you know, just in case the values ever need to be changed globally throughout your application. Thank you very much. <laughs>